we were uh, privileged to uh, meet the Director General of FAO today. Uh, we have talked about how to really uh, develop the economy of Somalia, and more particularly the area we discussed was what's called the productive sector of the economy, which is fisheries, agriculture, and also livestock. And FAO has a very long history of working in Somalia, and for the time being, we are trying to develop the fishery sector in Somalia that has not been really developed for a long time. Somalia has the longest coast in Africa, 3,300 kilometers, and it has a spatial economic zone of almost 1 million square kilometers. So it's the biggest in Africa. All that potential has never been really taken advantage in Somalia. We have a new government in Somalia that is committed to really uh, do something about food security, alleviation of poverty, and all those factors, fishery can play a critical role. And we came here uh, in Rome to discuss with the Director General and FAO in, in general and explain to them that we want to really have a plan to develop that sector in Somalia. And we have outlined the uh, major uh, projects we want to do the coming three or four years or maybe five years. And we have talked about those issues with the Director General. Yeah, these projects are, for example, uh, in Somalia now, the only thing that people who are fisheries, whatever they catch and they can eat that day, uh, the rest of it, is, it gets spoiled and it gets wasted because there is no cold storage. So we want to develop what's called a cold chain, big uh, throughout that long coast in, I was telling, 3,300 kilometers. So now we are building uh, facilities that people can store on a large scale. So their output will increase dramatically for the fisher people. We want to provide them with a better boats, more fuel efficient, and boats that can go faster and uh, long distance into the ocean. We want to develop uh, fish processing facilities in Somalia, where people, once they catch the fish, they can process them and put them on ice and uh, uh, get them ready for export. Uh, we also want to develop uh, uh, what's called a cold, I mean, um, uh, trucks that can carry uh, these uh, fish that has been in the cold storage facilities to different parts of Somalia so that consumption of food can increase dramatically. We also want to develop small roads that are important for the coastal areas to the rest of the country. Uh, so there's a little bit of infrastructure a project there. We also want to uh, train and capacity building for the farmer, uh, for the fish people and the cooperatives. So how to train them, how to handle fish. There is a process called uh, fish handling. Uh, if you don't uh, go through a very well-known process, then it's difficult for you to export because the world wants to see once you catch the fish from, they said, from the hook to the uh, fork, you know, what the people eat. There's a process that needs to go through that. So we want to also develop capacity building. Uh, we want to train our people. Uh, our ocean is huge and we have no information about the different fishes in different areas of the ocean. It's called it mapping the ocean. And uh, then we will know all the different areas throughout the country. We want to learn how it was called it stock management of how to see the areas that are overfished and then go to other areas that are more suitable for fishing. So there is really so much things to do. We want to also create markets outside Somalia and export that. You need also quality control of, you know, before you you need certification and standardization to the rest of the world. So as you can see, there is really so many different areas to cover that. But the most important thing really is it will increase food security. It will generate a lot of income for the farmers. And also the government needs so much revenue and it will also generate so much income and revenue for the government to be able to do other services for different uh, sectors of the economy.